All right, hello everyone. It's Mystic Juicer back with some more Yomi action. We've got uh, Nope the Bard versus Hobsu. Uh, Rook versus Satsuki. Okay, so interesting matchup. Um, I think maybe very slightly Satsuki advantaged. Um, and that mostly comes down to uh, use of kings to disable guard crush. Uh, or... Um, Rock armor, I should say. Um, and just kind of general difficulty for Rook to really get stuff going. Um, has to be very, very, very patient. Um, and also call out uh, combats. Uh, like And win, uh, win a fair amount of combats as well. Like you'd think rock armor for 24, rock armor for 24, rock armor for 24, but it's really, really expensive in terms of cards. So you do end up, uh, you have to do some uh, some other stuff as well to get in. So it is going to be important for Hobbs to keep a little bit of an eye on his king situation, whether he has the threat of king as an ender. Um, yeah, I'm having to spend quite a few of them here in the early game. I'm having to. Uh, being able to spend quite a few of them here in the early game to get uh, rapidly through Rook's uh, hit points and uh, cycle from turn to turn. So that was Jack 5, 6. So he had an extra combo point there. So it doesn't have a normal, might have a queen. Okay, takes the first combat loss of this of the game. <laughs> yeah, nope uh nope shutting that down it's gonna be interesting to see so opening with a throw um does mean he can dump off of it Ooh, gets the cross up eight my god uh this is a very very key combat win here i was very much expecting uh hobbs to get in there with a uh, with an attack of some kind maybe just uh, felt like a block was coming from nope the bard and therefore decided to play more patiently unfortunately pays for it but only loses a seven um, and takes eight points of damage so not too bad as combat losses go Ooh, do we have the 10 to make this too safe we do so this king is going to act a little bit like a mini joker going to keep uh, Hobbs from really uh, getting a tremendous amount of damage off of this unless he really has like two other aces or something well there's the kings okay fully pumped there so no card kept so probably the seven was the card that was kept last time does get another cycle. That's three kings in the discard. Rock armor now essentially online. The problem is we've got 37 hit points and only six cards, so. <laughs> cheeky, cheeky. There we go. Sinks the king. If the first one doesn't work, just hit him with the second one. No problem. Exactly even life totals. Hope the bard has four combat wins. Uh, that he's got to make with throws to close out the game. Uh, unlikely that Hobbs is going to give him that uh, for free. Yeah, undercutting the jack. Likely going to get out of his hand now. Hobbs may be playing a little bit leery of third king. That would be a pretty, pretty big amount of damage to take. Ooh, had the aces. That's big. Does hold on to one card. Um, what could that card be? Seven? No. So confirm not a seven. Could be a joker. Could be a queen. Those are typically cards you would keep in that situation. In this case, we had jack, jack, ace, ace. So we had enough combo points to get in there with a uh, with a king if it was available. Could want to keep the king, though, for... Possible rock armor plays here in this last section of the game. 
Could have just been that queen. Ooh, two broken nails in a row. Only have to do that 35 more times. Uh, nope, the Bard possibly in a situation now where he doesn't have any normal blocks. Oh, there's the third king. Fortunately, it runs right into a jack. Yeah, Hobbs probably just on mono attack range here. Doesn't want to leave any throws available on the table. Okay, so yeah, it could have been any of any of those cards. Could have been could have been the king. Could have been the, the any of the, the the previous two queens. Could have even kept a, a ten just to make things relatively safe. So half health exactly uh, that Nope the Bard was able to inflict. See if uh, we see a character switch. Nope, chooses to stay as Rook. See the adjustment. First combat reveal should give us some kind of a sense of... Okay, all right, so uh, lots of kings. <laughs> no throws, lots of attacks. Your opponent's going to give you information. Got a... 49 more turns. <laughs> if your opponent's going to give you information in chat, uh, might as well uh, make something of it if you can. Make some assumptions. If I'm Nope the Bard, I'm probably uh, blocking like crazy for the next couple of turns. Bob's deep in the think tank. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's one way to exert that uh, early game advantage. <laughs> the big oof, yep. Game two already looking better for our uh, beloved rock monster. <laughs> it's 20% better than, uh, than good move. Seeing as it's uh, 0.8 speed instead of 1. Ooh, shifting to the throw. Okay, so either uh, the... I mean, I think Hobbs probably has a uh, couple of kings in hand, uh, is my guess. If we're still... If we're assuming this, um, you know, this is a hand comment means something, uh, then it's possible that he's got a whole bunch of kings and feels awkward about uh, trying to attack here, assuming that uh, Nope the Bard was going to go into Block City after seeing that first combat reveal. Ooh, but it may be it may be uh, too difficult to uh, to make uh, assumptions out of like what he meant by that comment. So maybe we just dismiss that, go back to thinking about uh, what the hand might say. Okay, four aces known. All right. So three eights. So maybe that was the. Oh, I'm still on this. 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 You know. This is a hand comment. God damn. All right. Throw into ace ace at least. Nope. The bard with no joker in hand. Max damage, Setsuki throw. Two more aces still known in hand. Hey, there's that eight, the door stopper eight. Okay, it doesn't follow it up that time. Two known aces. Hobbs can't get out of his hand with power ups. So, two known aces, two mystery cards. <laughs> if the if at first you don't succeed 10 10 again 
Except in this case, it's if your eight succeeds, then, you know, just 10 anyway. Yeah, we've got a queen. Definitely play that there. Okay, a bit more expensive than the queen, but why not? I like it. He had the eight, played the 10 anyway. Could be a rock armor uh, situation there anyway. All right, Hobbs is out, but is out now at 10 hit points. Has to be careful of rock armor. Probably no 10 in hand, given that uh, we had that, or no additional 10 in hand for Nope the Bard, given the last uh, combat exchange. Okay, went for the throw. Bob saying, yeah, nah. I would prefer if you did not. Uh, I definitely don't respect this uh, as Hobbs. Just got to go in anyway. Okay, yep, gets out. Yeah, given given that Nope the Bard did not face down on the turn where uh, four aces were known in Setsuki's hand, there's li really little reason to believe that uh, um, they'd have the uh, the Joker in this instance. Ah, uh, counter throw with the six, gets the kill, evens up the set, one apiece. Hobbs gets a chance to counter pick. Okay, sticks in the matchup, so we might see uh, a full set of Rook versus Setsuki. So second game definitely went a, a uh, significant sight better for, uh, for Nope the Bard than... Uh, Game one, Let's see if the adjustments can continue to be made. Nice king, beats out an eight throw. Um, potentially tells us that Hobbs has, what, a king in order to dump off of a seven card hand. You'd have to do king, a normal, king, a normal, sorry, throw, a normal, king, two cards, that's five, you'd still like two. But if you have a pair, you can uh, power up out of it. Nice, beats the queen. Okay, well, that's that's still definitely a combat win. That's going to leave uh, Bob's on a three-card hand. That can be very awkward against uh, Rook, given that... Um, against anyone else, pretty much... Um, Ah, okay. Yeah, he's going to power up out of it anyway. So have the king. You'd have the exit strategy available. Pretty good hand and a lot of cards gone there. So a queen, two kings. This is a nice start for uh, Nope. He's already got some damage on Setsuki. She's already got some, some fairly key cards in the discard early. Can make future turns a little awkward. Yeah, nope. Man, his his eights have been flawless this set. <laughs> Every eight has uh, found its mark. 20 points of damage the hard way. Half of Setsuki's health points are hit point total gone. The immediate uh, play here from nope. King comes out. Putting Hobbs to 20. Yeah, and uh, definitely an awkward seeming hand. Two throws mean, and two kings in the discard mean it's fairly difficult for, uh, for Hobbs to get out of the hand he's got. Kings are going to be very, very scary from this situation. Oh, just has the ace ace to close out. Uh, a very, very short uh, game three. And just like that, uh, uh, Nope the Bard is on set point. Yeah, rip perfect. Okay, switches to DeGray. I like the switch. I think uh, 
Uh, nope definitely seemed to catch on to uh, Bob's rhythm as Setsuki. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Sometimes you just got to switch out. Shift things around, see what happens. Ooh, good start. Opening queen catches a king. Okay, just lets it slide. Uh, does not have perhaps a a hand to really uh, take advantage of that that queen. The gray versus rook is definitely a slower game. Got to uh, got to manage your hand. A recent set with uh, De Gray really pointed out just how uh, awkward his hands can get, how throw clogged, and uh, obviously not a great situation to have no good plays. Uh, against Rook. Ooh, gets the two undercut. Too early for rock armor, and a four is not really a great rock armor target anyway. Just getting in some damage. Footsies. <laughs> ah, footsies. <laughs> footsies confirmed. So still very very even hand total so far now this is a fine exchange probably both players are relatively happy with that uh, obviously uh, nope was looking for a uh, a throw there <laughs> yeah yeah first turn queen into second turn to uh cross up is pretty nasty Ooh, the nine throw. Wow. Yeah, nope. Uh, recognizing and adjusting. Uh, <laughs> uh, recognizing and adjusting to, uh, to Hobbs's, uh play here. Seeing perhaps a... Uh, smelling some weakness in the hand. Getting in with that nine throw. Oh, gets the cross up. That's that's two even cross ups uh, so far this set. Not bad. Eighteen points of damage, even things up. Still relatively low hand size for uh, for Nope, which is not a bad thing in this matchup. Okay, double power up. So two known aces. Situation, the next combat exchange typically um, for the gray player is going to be a uh, either an attack or a throw. So Nope can try to get in. This is exactly why uh, Obbs is playing the uh, troubling speech or the troublesome rhetoric. Yeah, there we go. Bates the king is going to go fairly low on cards here. Um, if he doesn't want to spend the uh, the ace ace, and not going to get a tremendous amount of additional damage off of uh, off of moral high ground, but still, um, so long as he's got an attack to play, uh, this is where uh, just random pile bunker in neutral gets very scary. Nope, the bard's still on six cards, or six or seven cards. Um, so moral high ground isn't massive here. You still don't want to walk into a queen. Oh, just like that. That is already going to deal three extra damage. We have a jack or a king to tack on here. Yeah. Both deal plus four, so that we, we've got. He basically played queen, eight, king. Yup. <laughs> two cards, 32 points of damage. Degrade is not muck about. Maybe he just plays another king here. He's got it. Ooh, has the other seven. 
Catches with the throw, just needs a five here. Okay. Nope survives. Special block there, trying to catch a uh, cheeky king, a cheeky jack. Hobbs now with knockdown, can play a cross-up game here. Uh, or just dodge if he thinks uh, queen, yeah, there we go. Queen or, uh, or jack was going to come out. Yep, and that is game four. Fairly quick affair after things uh, got started. Hobbs finishing up this, the uh, game with one card in hand. Very correct de Grey play. Yeah, nope, the bard just has not had an opportunity to really build uh, any kind of a hand. Okay, switching to Gwen. Uh, definitely not a matchup I have seen before. Uh, presumably fairly scary on both ends, but uh, the dump truck nature of damage uh, that de Grey does, sure to be in full effect. Nope, the bard. Correctly uh, getting <laughs> getting a uh, first turn throw here. Okay, gets the knockdown, chooses to go up to eight cards. Okay, picks up an ace. So uh, pretty pretty solid cross up pressure here on this next turn. Hobbs picks the ace back up. So, uh, Arbiter is 1.2. Yeah, that will, that will tie with uh, Ace or King. So that's a little spooky for Gwen. Okay, Hobbs gets the correct block. Gets to keep it. Free chip. Nope, the bard goes back to building. Gets himself up to eight cards. Eighty-one, eighty-one. Will Hobbs play a bunker or equivalent duff? Nope, just blocks up. Just looking for cards here. Basically saying like, okay, I know that Gwen is going to automatically get a whole bunch of cards in hand. So I don't need to dramatically lower the amount of my own hand, like my own hand size. Uh, because once the hit happens, it's going to be big. And nope, the bard just playing to win combat basically. I think you basically take any king hits you get. Like if you get hit by king as Gwen, you probably don't care. It's definitely the uh, the other spooky stuff. Ooh, this is going to hurt. The nine throw. Pretty dramatic. Well, 29, well, 31 points of damage on the draw. Good amount of life lead. Definitely not out of the woods yet, though. But a healthy eight-card hand. Not doing too badly. As Nope the Bard, I'm probably tempted to play an attack here. Okay. Plays the throw. Yeah, Hobbs was uh, was thinking, okay, now the aces are gone. You feel comfortable attacking, so I'm going to put out this block. And Nope gets the full damage combo. Nice. 28. Resets his hand a little bit. Life total is very even. Hand size is very even. Leave no known aces on uh, Hobbs' side. Any secret aces drawn are going to be pretty scary, I think. Although Nope is playing a uh, pretty aggressive throw range here. Nice. Yeah, Hobbs thinking like, oh, okay, well, if you're going to throw me all, all the time, we'll just put this uh, queen out here, see what happens. Ooh, baits the burst. Beautiful. Yeah, that was really nicely done. Nope, the bar definitely making this happen. 
not uh not out of the game yet two aces in the discard one king yet played gray's got to be worried about jacks oh just as i say it yep yeah. plays the uh the two attack to get under there can be difficult yeah to get much out of uh combat wins with the twos best thing you can do is tack on a three and uh follow it up with a jack or a king which is by no means bad as uh i'm nobody once told me uh that jank is hell hell combo did 16 damage so can't be mad at that Pressure now increasingly on Nope the Bard to make something happen. Ooh, yep, there's the other Jack. Bobs gets the dodge off. Expect a face down here. No, okay, just willing to take uh, 19 damage. Pretty good indication that uh, nope the bard does not in fact have a joker troublesome rhetoric rhetoric is very scary here don't block or I will gain uh, 12 hit points and then play the king yep gets undercut by the uh, queen so not a completely uh, foolproof turn of events but only takes 10 for it nope not out of the game just yet five card to gray on this next turn picks up both aces uh but time is rapidly running out has it this turn and the next to uh to deal 40. Bobs gets the block off. Uh, this will be relentless striked. Twenty nine hit points. If Hobbs has the Joker, you will win. Mm, not sure if that's one or two. Yeah, I think that's one. One known ace. Bombs needs to survive this combat. Actually, yeah, it doesn't even need the. Uh... No, wait, it does. It does. Sorry. I was <laughs> like, how many turns are actually left? But unfortunately, it no longer matters. Bobs gets the throw, closes things out, and will take the set. But ended up being much, much closer than that uh, first game of the set would indicate. Uh, really nice back and forth uh, from both players. So really glad I caught it. Thank you everybody for watching. And until next time, enjoy yourselves some Yomi. Cheers.